arm and a leg! And a head!
No waiting. Ah, my next customer.
Mickey, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Mr. Vinny. I always got a part here. I got my own plans with that Baluccio blimp. Your services are no longer required. Although I am gonna miss your zippy personality. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll give your best regards to Mr. Baluccio when I collect your fee. <laughs> you bastard! I'll get you for this! Ciao, Mr. Vinny! Everybody's gotta die sometime! Boy! 
just blow the crap out of it! Hey, you're making me nervous here!
That's some good cannoli! Some good cannoli!
die! You shouldn't have walked in front of my gun! What do you want? 
Mmm, that's some good cannoli. Making me nervous here. One more step and I'll pump your guts full of lead. How many times do I have to tell you, gangsters? I can't make any more poison. I already gave you everything I had. What are you talking about? What the hell is this place? You don't know? You're not one of Frankie's guys? No, we're not particularly good friends. Spill it, pal. What's going on down here? Frankie locked me up here after he took all the poison. What poison? Makes sense, man. <sighs> this is, is a U.S. federal government facility. Prohibition is turning out to be one big failure with all you bootleggers and shiners brewing your own stuff. The Bureau of Prohibition ordered me to experiment this the poisoning of the ingredients to make alcohol to put a stop to the illicit drinking. I thought my product was fabulous. The perpetrators were becoming very recognizable. But the government officials thought the effects were a bit extravagant. So they shut my whole operation down, taking all my finances, putting me out of business. Would I should destroy every drop of my poison? I think not. I don't get it. If the government shut the whole thing down, then who's responsible for this mess? Frankie did it. After the federal agents left, he approached me and told me he was interested in my work. 
He would pay me a fortune if I could produce him gallons of my poison. But why, for God's sake? I don't know. He was speaking of a perfect diversion. I don't know what he meant. But he specially waited until St. Patrick's Day to put his poison in the alcohol. Of course. Using a drunkard's holiday to make sure everyone would be drinking his crap, turning the whole town into some kind of cannibal holocaust. I did not know his plans were to poison the whole city. Yeah, a big freaking surprise. Please take me with you back to the surface. We have to fix this. Well, your problem's getting fixed, all right. The army is preparing everything to blow this whole place to kingdom come to cover this whole thing up. And as for you, I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> so long, you quack.